this is the easiest snack you can ever make it's so delicious when you get the right measurement and the right mixture which i'm going to be giving you tips on how to achieve that hi friends welcome to my channel we're going to be making this puff puff and without wasting your time let's start start by getting your bowl your baking bowl i'm using buckets <laughs> so feel free to use anyone okay adding one and a half cup of warm water i'll start by adding in that amount of water i'll show you as we move on adding your sugar and then adding milk that pink milk right there then you can use powder one if you wish adding your yeast and then add in salt then go ahead and mix it well so when you are done go ahead and add in your flour Make sure that you sieve it before adding it in. Then go ahead and use this to mix it or you can use your hand and mix it. So this is not the consistency that I should have. So I'm just going to rinse the cup I use in my milk and with warm water and then add it in. Mix it again. If you don't get the right mixture consistency, then you are going to now add a little more. So I still did not get the right consistency. I'm going to add more of the warm water, a little more. Don't worry, I'll leave the measurement in the description box. Make sure you check it out, okay? And then mix it. So this is how you do it, especially if you are making the puff puff for the first time. Don't go ahead and add in the complete water at once okay then mix it till all the lumps have all melted and everything is well incorporated so when you are done it should all stretch out like this do you see it's all stretchy <laughs> So make the adjustment, adjust the edges and then you're going to cover it and leave it for one hour to rise. So this is after one hour, we're going to open it, then move to the next step. So after then, you're going to now mix it again, just to remove air. When you're done, I'm just going to adjust it. And then next now, you're going to get your frying pan or deep fryer or non-stick pot. I'm using non-stick pot. Then go ahead and add in enough oil inside. And you're going to leave it to heat up and to check the right temperature i'm going to use this and dip it inside water then scoop just tiny like this so this is what i do to know if the oil is hot enough for me to scoop in my puff puff butter at this point the oil is hot enough for me so i'm going to now scoop in the butter using the spoon but if you don't want to use spoon, you can feel free to wash your hand well and then use your hand. Make adjustment and then you are going to leave it to fry until it's golden brown. Turn it to the other side so that it can also fry. So 
So what I do to know if the pop off is ready, I'm going to turn it like this, and then if it's golden brown, then I'll go ahead and pack it. So dip in the spoon like this inside water again to fry the remaining one. Make sure you mix it before scooping into the oil. Mind you, the second set is not going to be like the first one, okay? So you have to pay close attention to it because it's going to turn brown, like it's going to fry quick, way more quicker. So you have to reduce your fire so it doesn't get burnt. And then one thing with puff puff is when you get the right shape, it's going to give you a highlight and turning it just like this one right there. So when it's ready, before packing the current one, you have to turn the previous one into a bowl, okay, an empty bowl, then pack the current one. So that when you pack it, it does not absorb, the previous one will not absorb the oil that the current one is bringing, okay? And what I do when the stubborn ones are giving me wala, I make sure that I put it on top of my spoon like this, and then I leave it to fry for some minutes and then go ahead and pack it and guys it looks so delicious isn't it and it's easy to make so i went ahead to garnish it with my powder sugar or icing sugar and it tasted so delicious the outside was so crunchy and guys let's see how the inside looks like Ooh, it's all fried and it's so yummy thank you so much for watching friends if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe if you love this video make sure you like and comment and don't forget to share take care of yourself i'll see you next time bye